guys, this is Hallie with Keep It Dirty Off-Road with our second video on our Trail Maps Basics series where we're going to help you improve your off-road game using trail maps. Now if you're watching this video, you probably got a map file or a GPX file and you're wondering what to do with it for an upcoming run, right? How are you going to use it? Well, in this video we're going to cover how to view the maps, how to use it on the trails, how to share the map files, all to basically make that trip way more enjoyable for you. Now when it comes to using map files, you have a couple options when it comes to apps. Gaia GPS, MotionX GPS, and LeadNav. For this video, we're going to focus on lead nav. So why lead nav? So lead nav is specifically designed for off-road, and it's quickly becoming the standard. Some race teams are even starting to use lead nav on races like the Mint 400 or the Baja 1000. Now lead nav though is an iOS app. You're going to need an iPhone or an iPad with a cellular phone in it. If you don't have a cellular iPad, you can purchase a GPS puck that you can add to your iPad and give it that capability. Lead nav uses GPX file. GPX file stands for GPS Exchange Format. It is the most commonly used format for sharing coordinates and coordinate space routes. So let's go ahead and get started and first off we're going to cover how to get that file onto your iPhone or your iPad for your next trail run. Okay so the two most commonly ways you're going to receive files for the first time is going to be over email or over text. The process to open is the same just go to the actual file go ahead and click on the file and open it. Make sure you're selecting the GPX file. Once that file is open, go to the top right hand corner and look for that share or open icon. It's the same on all iPhones. Go ahead and click on that. Scroll over to copy to lead nav. Lead nav is going to go ahead and open up. Go ahead and click import. And just like that, the trails are imported and it shows you how many routes and tracks and markers you have with it. Now that you have it on your device, next you're going to want to view it. Now chances are you're going to view this while you're at home. Now this app is very much location based. No matter where you put it, if you click that top crosshatch, it will always send you back to where your current location is. So in order to view trail, go ahead and click menu. Click the collection you just imported. Collection is a collection of different routes that are put together. Uh, a collection is going to signify a different set of maps. So for example, in this case, we would have one for Min 400. If I was doing this, I would also have a separate one for Death Valley or something like that. So we're going to go ahead and click on ROC's Min 400 run. And as you see, we have nine routes, four tracks, and 70 markers. For lead nav purposes, the ones you really care about are your routes and your markers. Now to actually view the route, we're going to go ahead and go to our routes. We're going to pick a route. In this case, we're going to pick the first route, which is Coliseum Mine, and we're going to click View. And the app will go ahead and take us to that route, and if you notice, it's also going to highlight the route for us so we know where it is. To actually use the route, you're going to need to use the Run feature. The run feature is location based. So if I go click, I'm on that same first route, Coliseum Mine, I click run, the app is going to calculate how long it takes me to go from my current location to the start of that route, which is right at the I-15, going through the whole route all the way to the end of that route. Okay, so that's what you see the, the odd number with 159 miles. Now we're going to switch to my cell phone to show you what it actually looks like when you're on the trails. So here, you can actually use a little crosshatch to change your view. You can either have it follow you and be the perspective where it's right in front of you, or change it to north facing and just see where the dot goes. I recommend staying with the follow you function so you can actually see where the turns are coming up ahead. Now as you're running the trails, the app's going to tell you your current speed, and then based on that speed, it's going to calculate how long it's going to take you to get to the end of this route. Only this route. It's also going to tell you the distance in miles to the end of the route. If your phone or iPad is connected to your stereo, the app will also give you audible notifications of how much time is left in the current route. Four miles to target. ETA 23 minutes. Okay, now that we have our maps opened up, another thing you're going on to do before you go on the trails is actually pick your map background. Now to do this, the best thing to do is to go ahead and open up the trail maps with using the view function showed previously. And let's go ahead and cover how to actually pick the map background. So you go ahead and go to this little cog on the lower right hand side and that actually takes you to the settings. If you click on map, it'll give you your options for your maps. You have being satellite, USGS satellite, and US topography maps. I prefer the Bing hybrid because it uses a combination of the Bing satellite and the USGS satellite. So you get the satellite image while at the same time you also get all the mark roads. So to me, this is my favorite. Now, with the standard app, without any subscriptions, you do have the option to download maps. If you want to download maps, let's go ahead and go to the settings. Let's go back into maps. Now, with the standard app with no subscription, 
you only have the option to download street maps. If you want to get satellite or terrain maps and all that stuff, you can do custom maps, but that does require a subscription. And there's different levels of the subscription that you can look on Lee Nav's website. Um, from a simple map subscription that gives you access to some satellite maps to the Pro Pack that gives you the option to do whatever you want and it will automatically download the maps for you. So let's go ahead and demo the maps we do have available to download with just the regular output purchase without any subscription. So you want to go ahead and scroll down to Open Street Maps and it'll show you the view that the street maps will normally show you and to download you want to click this little cloud area right here, this little cloud button. Go ahead and click to download, select the area that you want to download, and then click download. Now here's a caveat that I want to show you guys. So we're going to go ahead and select our area, click save, and it'll start downloading. This is an excruciating long process. It takes quite a bit of time. And unfortunately, it's one of the major drawbacks of not having the paid subscription for the app. It'll download the view based on your zoom. So right now we have a zoomed out view of our whole trail. That is the only view we will have available in our offline maps. In order to get a close up view, we basically have to go in and individually download the different squared sections for all those areas that we want to see. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and stop that download. And I'm going to go ahead and select a closer cut of a certain section. Okay, so I want to get a little bit closer view of this section right here. I'm going to hit save, and it'll start saving that close-up view of the map. Now you can do this and select your whole map area, and it'll do it for the street maps. So I, you can see it on there. We have three different areas. It's starting to download the cache. Um, it's a very tedious process, but if you're like me and don't want to spend the money on the Pro Pack, you can definitely do it that way. Your other option, like I said, is pay for one of the subscriptions. Again, you have to download manually and you only have a certain amount of maps that you can download. If you purchase the full on Pro Pack, it'll actually automatically download your maps throughout the whole trail to down to the fine detail in whatever map format you like. Depending on what you're doing on the trails, the subscriptions can be worth it, especially if you're out on the trails all the time where there is no cell reception. Now, if you don't have any cell reception, all you're basically going to see is your trail with no maps in the background. Another common thing you're going to want to do is share your map files. So if you wanted to share your map files, say you just got to the trail, somebody doesn't have their maps, or you have a code driver that you want to have the maps, there is a, several really handy features within the app in order to share. Now when you share, you have a couple options. You can share individual routes. So I can click on any of my routes here and click the share button. But those aren't really useful. What you want to do is go ahead and exit out all the way to the main page of the collection where you can see route tracks and markers. Scroll down to where it, hit, where it says share. Click share. And then from there, it'll give you the options to share. Now, the most common are going to be text message or email. If you're on the trails and you have one of the newer iPads or newer iPhones, you'll get the option to share over AirDrop. In AirDrop, you don't need to have cellular connection. You don't even need to have a Wi-Fi. It'll do it over Bluetooth. And even if you don't have, even if there's no data connection, it'll allow you to share the files with your friends. All right, guys, hope you found the videos uh, helpful. Put any questions you guys may have in the comments below, or if you'd like, you can send me an email at keepitdirtyoffroad at gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe. We have a couple videos coming up in this series where we're going to cover how to map trails in LeadNav and Google Earth for those that don't want to use an iPad to do all their mapping. And we're going to cover best practices, tips, and tricks. Thanks for watching. Go have fun on the trails and keep those rigs nice and dirty. dirty.